So yesterday in class, we talked about how you create an experiment when you're dealing with people. We talked about clinical trials. We actually started setting up a little bit of a clinical trial. Okay, we talked about how to do that. And we talked about placebos. We use a placebo when we are doing experiments with humans in new treatments, whether that's medicine or vaccines or whatever you're working with to help cure people of illness and disease. You have to use a placebo to create a control group. Because again, you can't just get a group of people together and say, okay, all of you have a disease and we want to test a new medicine to cure you all. All right, they're happy. Yay, we're going to get cured. And then you look at a group and go, oh, by the way, we're not going to cure y'all. We're going to let y'all stay sick and die so we can see if the medicine works on them. Y'all, how many of you have noticed that when you're happy and you're feeling good and the world is right, you're physically feeling good, okay? How many of you have ever noticed that if you start getting a little sad, things are bad, well, your head hurts and your body aches, okay? When you're feeling sad mentally, you can actually start feeling bad physically. How many of you have ever woken up with a headache and your head really hurt and you really don't want to do anything, but then maybe your friends or your family or told you something funny, you started laughing, you started having a good time because they were telling silly stories, and suddenly you realized your headache was gone. Okay, you didn't take any medicine, but because you were feeling happy, your actual headache disappeared. All right, humans have these weird reactions to feelings and their thoughts. Scientists, again, I said it before, scientists don't understand how that works, but they know it does. And so you have to use a placebo, because if I have a big group of people that I want to cure of a disease, I cannot tell half of them, sorry suckers, you don't get it. We can't do that. So we give one group the medicine, they're my experimental group. I'm seeing if the, if the medicine works. And we give the other group a placebo so that they think they're getting the medicine. Now, this lets us have a control. They are not getting any medicine. So we can see if the medicine works, but they think they are. So what that brings me to is placebo effect. Sometimes, when you're doing that clinical trial and you're giving that group a placebo, those people begin to get better. Just like they're taking a real medicine. Right? They were actually thinking themselves better. Hey, I'm getting a medicine, I'm getting cured, and voila, they actually get cured. We don't know why, we don't know how, scientists don't understand it but it happens. They will get better just like they're taking the real medicine. So that improvement in health of people who are taking a fake medicine, they're taking a placebo, it's not real, but they still get better. That's called the placebo effect. Right? And so that's one of the things that scientists have to look for when they're doing clinical trials. If 50% of the people taking a placebo get better, and 50% of the people taking the medicine get better. Is the medicine really working? Yet yeah, no, okay? Because the same amount are getting better. But if 50% of the people taking placebos get better, and 90% of the people taking the medicine get better, could we say that the medicine's working? Yeah, more people are getting better, all right? so. Got to have that control group to see how it works. The other thing that you have to work with when you're doing clinical trials is informed consent. Now, like I said before, you can't grab a whole group of people, throw them in a cage, and start shoving medicine down their throat, okay? It's illegal. You don't do that. So you have to work with informed consent. Any person who agrees to be part of a clinical trial must be told everything 
that could possibly happen. Here are the things that might happen that are good. Here are the things that might happen that are bad. All right? Do you still want to do this? You've got to tell them everything. And if they still want to do it, okay, you've given them informed consent. You have informed them of everything that could happen. Okay? So they're told about the risks. And then the consent part is they say, yes. I know what might go wrong, I still want to do it. So they have been informed and they have given their consent to do it anyway. All right. So two other things that are required to do clinical trials with humans. You've got to look out for that placebo effect and you have to tell people what might happen and then they have to agree informed consent.